what's going on guys vig bp back with another game case arcades video we got another project in our hands another retrofit boom shakalaka so check it out guys obviously you know this is not our first retrofit really unique one coming straight from instagram i believe the gentleman's from brooklyn or the bronx i don't really remember something with a b we are in new york uh bernie madoff this is uh instagram name bernie madoff um basically messaged me said hey vic is this thing worth fixing and he sent me a picture of it never seen it before it is a space invaders cabinet let me turn the camera around you don't like selfie mode let's take a closer look at this unique cabinet i've never seen anything like this First, starting with the back real quick. Again, I can't tell what type of cabinet this is, but there is no labeling, there's no emblem, there's no official serial number on this. So this might be a total custom cabinet. I've never seen anything like it. I don't know all my stuff, but again, I mean, this is pretty unique looking. The biggest thing that's pretty crazy about this is the glass. Um, never seen glass like this amazing and it's not like this is either printed behind it really nice stuff the glass is beautiful i already told the customer that we are not changing this glass this glass sets everything apart if you look very carefully you could see the dead screen on it so this is dead i didn't try powering it on we'll actually try it right now but basically this is a mirror screen is actually on the bottom here shooting up to a window slash mirror and then reflects back to us the request for the customer is to make it a two-player game. So this control panel is junk. We have to take out the whole thing. Um, again, it's really unique, guys. Check this out. Even the coin door. I mean, no key on this. Pretty, like, never seen a coin mech like this. Even, like, you could even see, like, there's no return button on this. Um, I'm not even too sure what this was. I'm going to open it up. As we get into, like, opening it, I'll figure out what is... Oh, it's a speaker. There is a speaker. So basically our audio input is here. Again, super unique. Take a look at the side art on this. This is actually like painted. This is no joke. I'm not gonna say it's hand painted. It's probably a stencil, but the whole cabinet is just painted. There is no stickers on this. You could literally see no vinyl on this. Even the T-molding kind of has like this leather type of finish to it. Again, guys, I don't know, you tell me, comment down below if you recognize the cabinet, but both sides are like stencil painted. This is, again, never seen it before. The screen is kind of tiny on it. But I mean, again, both sides, exactly the same duplicates. It's gotta be a stencil. But again, it's just the amount of detail. And again, all of it painted has to be painted. This up here had a cool little switch basically on and off switch, double panel back here. Basically, we're gonna take this thing apart. Check out what I found behind this though. Basically, again, I, I, I wanna put power to this first. You don't really see it here, but no, I have to power this on because you'll see what this is. Hold on, I gotta try to power this on, hold on. Just so you guys could witness it, let's put on one more light. Again, can't wait to finish the house because the garage is gonna be insane for this, but Take a look here. We do have RK power supply here, long cord. I'm basically gonna show it to you live because I don't know what's gonna happen when we plug this in, but we're gonna give this power. Power is connected. Maybe I have to press this. And nothing. So this is actually going into this transformer here. Probably a burnt out fuse. I'm not touching anything because the power is live. But again, you could real quickly see our monitor, our board. And what's crazy about the front of this had a manual that said an eight and one. I think I'm gonna basically void out this, um, I'm gonna take this transformer out and we're gonna basically put straight power into the RK power supply. Let's see what happens. All right, so I figured before I even do it, let me just let you know, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Basically, this is a power supply, and this power supply has a red LED light on it. Plugged in this, and there's no LED on. So basically, that's how I come to the conclusion that either there's a fuse broken, which I popped out all the fuses, and they do seem okay. 
So I'm gonna basically take out our power cord here and we're gonna hook it up right to that. All right, so we basically gotta rewire it. Let's plug it in this way in case something happens, you'll be here to see it. Okay, plugged in. We do have a ignition on the monitor, LED on. I'm not sure if this is gonna play right now. Okay, something's happening. Check this out. This is what I was talking about. This works. Let's see. I can't really read it. But check this out. This is what's insane about this. You see that earth? I gotta close this light. This is nuts. Beautiful cabinet. But you gotta understand what I'm seeing here, guys. You see that earth? That is actually a piece of cardboard. Now, unfortunately, I can't see what this says. It is upside down. You can see that there's two there. Wow, look at this. This is so detailed, this piece of glass. This is insane. What? This is beautiful right here. I'm gonna see right now what's gonna happen. Play, Pace Invaders, free play. This is nuts. Let's see how we could get this thing going, I guess. I have my player ones here. Again, guys, I, I as you can see right there, we just basically kind of um, diverted that thing that was on the floor. Oh, look at this. We have Space Invaders going on. Am I playing, though? I am not playing. Player one, play player one. Let's see. You have audio? Wow. Now, again, look at this. This is so unique how this is working. I cannot, though... Where am I? This is like a... I'm, I'm trying to play. I'm just so mind blown, guys. I'm sorry. This is nuts. Hold on. Real quick Instagram plug. Be sure you guys are following me on Instagram because I do post like to the stories. But this is just how crazy this is. You guys need to understand how this is working. You guys see... I'm just discovering more stuff. You guys see the moon? Okay bring you behind the cabinet which is this is this stuff right here blows my mind this is amazing i this is one of a kind i've never seen this but basically again there was a panel here there is a piece of cardboard here which i really so i really don't want to mess this up but basically see like this is like being held i'm gonna take it from here but basically this right here is a star here we go there's the moon that you see with a fluorescent light bulb behind it. I gotta go around. This is nuts. Look at this. If I shine it now, basically now, my starry night is that the moon will never move because it is stationary. But check this out. Look. Look at that. So this, with that, and again, you can kind of see the moon off the reflection. I've never seen anything like this this is a beautiful piece I, I i can't tell guys you guys gotta tell me if this is a custom-made thing or not but this is some insane kind of holographic system going on it's genius basically again monitor down and it works the only thing we have to kind of figure out right now i really don't want to gut this man but basically we're just going to try to figure out what can we do about the screen, which I'm over here right now. I gotta get you guys a flashlight because I know you guys like to enjoy. Excuse the motion. I got a flashlight, but basically I do see a bunch of knobs. This again is the monitor. The monitor did ignite. Basically, oh, here we go. Vertical hold, horizontal hold. Let me try to get you in there. This way you can kind of see some people do message me and say, hey, Vic, I want to learn it and see it. You can kind of see the wording here, vertical, horizontal. Let's see what happens. Well, the screen now, let me zoom you out. Not sure what happened. Ah, we got a brightness. Okay, we're gonna adjust our brightness. I'm playing with the knobs right now. We have another brightness. Let's see. So, unfortunately, yes, that looks like a little bit of a screen issue. We only have four knobs playing with each knob. Might have to just get it right on the money, but 
I and mean, this is like as if it's a contrast controller. See, I, I wish it could go wider, but I can. I'm literally showing it to you guys live as we play with it. But amazing stuff. Unfortunately, it looks like the monitor is just going. But I'm trying now to figure out, would it be cool if we put a, mo a TV screen here and then shoot it up to this glass? The only thing is that if you play like Street Fighter, the moon's gonna be behind it. So that kind of defeats it. This really, this really is meant for like, look at this. This is, the camera doesn't do justice on this, but this is just gorgeous. This is like a pinball piece of glass. This is nuts. This is a beautiful piece. I mean, you could even see the detail. This is crazy. At least we got it powered on, but unfortunately, yes, you can see the monitor there, tiny monitor. I did measure it. We could probably put a 22 inch screen on this. I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. Maybe this is a bad game. No. Uh, damn, I want to play with this. We're going to, I'm, I'm not going to leave until we get this right. All right, guys, see the second I put the camera down, we fixed something. Uh, basically, I just heard a little bit of a, of a click happen in here. Basically, now we do have, we could see the wording. I wanted to show you guys something because it made like a 360 circle, but now, my screen is too big. I can't even see the games we're going to pick. I'm trying to pick. That Space Invader color is burnt into the screen. I'm not too sure. Actually, it looks like a sticker. It's not burnt in. It looks like there's an actual sticker stuck somewhere. Interesting. Um, I can't see what game we could pick, but basically now I'm going to turn the light off. Free play is set. Player one. This is playable. It's just like I said, the screen is a little bit too big, meaning that it's too zoomed in. This is ridiculous. I, I'm so mind blown, guys. I, <laughs> what a beautiful cabinet. As you can see right there, the, the monitor there. Apparently you have to hold player two, or you do player one and two together to exit. Yeah, you gotta do some kind of button combination but unfortunately we can't the left side I'm missing there is an actual space invaders dude that see this now I'm inside of the um oh shit I'm inside of like the config one two three four five six seven see now I'm back here space invaders space invaders deluxe lunar rescue free play Whoa. Where am I? Oh, wow. <laughs> you need two hands for this for sure. Check out the control panel. You got two buttons, no joysticks on this. Two buttons for control. Fire, player one, player two. So as you can see right now, we are, I'm using my ham and my pinky. I am the spaceship. We have to land. Oh, I'm doing it one hand. <laughs> Boom, we landed. This is Lunar Lander right here. This is insane. This is a beautiful cabinet. I really don't want to touch this. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like there's a button. Once you do a button kind of pressing, it does bring it back. What is this? <laughs> I've never seen this before. Oh, and now the... Look at that. I can't even move onto the floor. The floor is messed up now. I can't move. I'm stuck in this corner. <laughs> what a game, man. This is insane. But again, just mind-blowing. This, this, this light is just amazing. I'm so shocked. But there you have it, guys. We basically took out, bypassed this kind of board going on here. Bought the arcade power supply to life. And what do you know? This does work. I gotta let the customer know now if he wants us to touch it. So now before I got the screen to go, it actually did like a 360 spin. I spanned the knob a little bit just to show you. You can see the Space Invaders character there. We gotta zoom in because my focus. But you could basically see that the Space Invaders guy, you could actually pick the game. Again, this is what, two, four, six, eight? Two, four. Yeah, it looks like eight games, eight games in one. That is the manual that was inside of this. 
Um, again, though, before it fixed itself, the these wordings were actually in a 360 format, uh, as if it was like spinning in a circle. It was pretty crazy. I, I'm so mind blown right now by this. This is our brightness. This now adjusts. See, like it was like spinning really quickly in this 360 universe. But then we straightened it out. I just can't get the thing to zoom out. Very cool. Multi game. Space Invaders multi game. Not too sure what I did with the manual, but this is. I gotta wait for the customer to see if he really wants us to touch this. Um, I'm trying to think. Maybe the bezel is covering the screen? Could that be a possible thing? Damn, I can't even get underneath this. <laughs> So a hard negative, it is a paper bezel cardboard. You can literally see my fingers there. So no, it is not the screen. It's just a zoom issue that we're having. But wow, this is, a, I, know, I mean, the screen works. Look at the Coinmex on this. Coinmex Inc. Elmhurst. Vibration switch. Some very unique stuff, guys. This is, again, one of a kind. Uh, real quick though, again, as far as control panel on this, we were going to take this out and put two players, one and two, but I mean, unfortunately, yes, the games, the customer's not going to want these games. So it will definitely happen. This is going to definitely be taken out. It's more about if I could try to put the screen down and reflect off of this window. I really don't want to touch that moon because that is a beautiful piece, but... As you can see, we are unfortunately going to take this thing apart. Some of you guys are going to hate me for it, but we're not touching this. That's for sure. This is beautiful. I mean, you got LED lighting, not even LEDs. This has to be regular lights. There was the click. I don't know if you guys heard that real quick, but the screen's going to go out soon. It definitely just did a little click. But again, lighting is just mind blowing. This is just beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. Very, very cool stuff. But I think the first thing is that we're going to take the glass out so we don't mess up the glass and we're going to take that monitor out. I'm going to try to put our monitor down and it shoots up into the glass because again, it's just, if I close the, the back panel, hold on, let me close this back panel, but now that I closed it, yeah, now you can see the moon better. See that? It's literally, it's a literally a hologram. This is insane. Again, unfortunately, no details, no cabinet details, no, no nothing on this. Again, we have our bottom here. I'm not going to touch that too much. Even that, I'm going to, let me get my flashlight. Hold on. feel really bad, guys. I know I am rambling. I'm just so mind blown by this. But check out real quick. The RK Power Supply has this unique green chip. Look at that. Basically, it's, it's just a simple way to connect into it and it just branches out. This right here is not live. There's no wires going to that. So that must have been an old board. That must have been the original board. This is the new one. But let's see if there's any details. What do we got here? Adjustment switches. Bonus missile base. Number of bases per game should be on. Again, nothing. I did have a... Oh, what's that? There's a tag here. <laughs> oh, this tag has nothing on it. Oof. Let's see. Repair invoice. Look at that. Jan oh, you can't even see it. Hold on. <laughs> Last time this was touched is January 11, 1980. Crazy. Amazing. Amazing. We could see real quick from here. You guys could see the LEDs, not the LEDs, they're halogens. They are light bulbs up there. We're going to take this apart. Took out the background. Look at that. This is like not vinyl. I can't tell. This is like a pre-printed kind of cardboard effect. We're going to keep that on the side. Again, looks like a light blue. It's an actual tinted um, fluorescent. We do have our moon here. We got our piece of glass here, and the big thing is that you could see the lighting wiring on that. So again, this is built like a regular cabinet. There is a latch here that will unhook 
control panel, basically control panel comes on up. I'll show you real quick the latch. It is a metal latch. So anytime you go into an actual old school arcade cabinet, they have these metal latches. They go right into these right here and they actually lock in the control panel. Flip this around, beautiful piece of wood. Does have even the groove to fit perfectly. We do have leaf switches on this. Look at the switch on that. Beautiful leaf switches. Again, unfortunately, we can't use the control panel. I didn't talk much about the control panel, but control panel, kind of a aluminum plate, kind of faded. I was going to try to use the same wood, maybe like put like player two joystick here, but the buttons unfortunately will not line up correctly. So we are just going to do a brand new piece of wood. Uh, basically just put some vinyl wrap on it, uh, either blue or black, whichever one I have lying around. Let's take these controller panel out. I just want to figure out how to take this piece of glass out so we don't mess it up and we can go on to the monitor. Now the control panel's out, you can see very big speaker, not your standard size speaker, but that is a mono channel, basically one channel. I forgot right here, look at this. We have here 35,000 plays. If my camera focuses. Mm -hmm. There is 35,000 plays, really cool stuff. Again, trying to figure out how to take this screen out before we break it but once we get the screen out we're going to put it aside and try to figure out what we're going to do about the monitor quick update we have removed the mirror it's an actual mirror look at that mirror right now being very careful it's a very heavy and thick mirror kind of dusty but there is our mirror what a concept so I have to remake this real quick. Basically, you could kind of see, I'm so pissed because I just spent five minutes discussing it and my mic was off. You could kind of see the orange film that we're talking about. There was a green film right here and I already peeled it off. It was actually connected to the monitor. Look at that. It, this is like a very easy plastic film. Almost feels like a fruit by the foot, fruit roll up. No, fruit roll up it feels like. Um, basically though, that was on the monitor the orange one though is a sticker and unfortunately if I try to peel it off, it just keeps breaking. But basically you kind of see the cabinet. I'm trying to figure out how to take the glass out. Uh, there is enough room up here to do speaker mod. Basically we could do it inside the cabinet. I'm not really a fan of that though because audio is in the cabinet. I'm not too sure. Luckily I have a lot of room for a subwoofer. Again, this will be getting a retro arc kind of finish. You could actually see the monitor. That was the one thing. The monitor is mirrored. So you can see like the word high score is mirrored to us. So I do have to find out and make sure that RetroArch could be mirrored because essentially my screen is just going to lie flat. Unfortunately, I'm not getting enough light here, but my screen is going to lie flat just like that. And the mirror will be able to bounce it up. If we could do that, this will be very unique, very cool little piece. All right, guys. Well, after about 15 minutes of wrestling, monitors out. We got that shelf out, glasses out. We're leaving the moon with the fluorescent monitor right here. Some pretty cool kind of little detail stuff. This is the board that was connected to the monitor. We just cut this off. It's even got an x-ray warning. Pretty cool, very intriguing, very unique piece. I mean, fragile glass picture tube this is insane this is great though i will be keeping this piece of wood though we might be able to mount some we might be able to mount our pie we're basically just going to take out the bracket garb well actually i'm not junking this but i did cut the wires uh you don't just throw this out you have to dispose of this correctly um it says 27 that is not a 27 inch screen though that's for damn sure but um gonna try to put this on on uh, ebay or on um craigslist but in all honesty, it does work. It's a black and white tube though. It's not picture, it's not color. So pretty cool stuff. Let's keep working. I mean, again, we're not really, I really can't do much. I think I am here. Oh, here it is. Look at this. This is what I was looking for. So look at this caution. Here we go, look at this. Space Invaders, eight in one multi-game. And inside of this are basically boards that you would probably take apart, chips. Um, yeah, little coin, no money in it, but that's okay. 
they will make money soon we are going to also try to jerry rig we're going to keep this i mean again this always stays inside cabinets we always keep we i always keep the stock hardware stuff in it so that's not moving that's not being touched everything here will stay the same in case anybody ever wanted to bring it back to life um we are going to get coin mechs working with the retro pie but now that we got that mirror out now you can see what i've been talking about with that moon really cool stuff guys stay tuned for the next episode we're going to put the monitor in i'm already seeing the monitor i can already picture it we're going to put it flat down mirrored up before i do that i will load up retro pie and make sure that we could get a mirrored image out that is it guys again we have a space invaders unique cabinet vic vp game case arcades